let's go ahead and take a DNA test. So I decided to go ahead and purchase the 23andMe DNA test because I exactly want to know where I'm from in the entire world. So let me break it down for you guys. So I am Guyanese. So my heritage originates from the country of Guyana, which is located in South America, which is a part of the Caribbean community. So we are usually called West Indian. So basically the people of Guyana were taken as slaves back in the mid 18th century when slavery was a thing. And basically they took these slaves from a whole bunch of different countries such as Africa and a lot of majority of them came from India which is why a lot of people say that I look Indian so my ancestors originally did come from India they got on the ship and then they sailed all the way down to South America in the country of Guyana so our ancestors from India also went to other countries as well such as St. Lucia Trinidad and Tobago Jamaica basically all those islands in the Caribbean as well which is why you see a lot of brown people in the Caribbean islands the thing is I don't know where my my ancestry goes apart from my great grandma like beyond that I have no idea where my family is from what region of India they're from or even if they are from India because during that time in the mid 1800s like there was a lot of migration happening with a bunch of these countries such as like Afghanistan Pakistan India there was so much going on and I don't know exactly what country I'm from like I don't know if my family decided to come from a different country go to India get on the boat in Calcutta India and then ship all the way to Guyana I'm not sure because I get called a lot of different things other than being Guyanese. So I get mistaken for being a lot of different things such as being from Pakistan, Bangladesh. I get called, I look Sri Lankan a lot. So I'm just very curious to see where my ancestry stems because I literally have no idea. And it's not like I can go on ancestry.com and actually look up my heritage because it just doesn't exist because it kind of ends there from the person that got on the ship and sailed all the way to Guyana. Also to note, the ex-president of Afghanistan actually has the same last name as me, except without an E because some of my family members don't spell their names with an E. I do. So I just find that very interesting. I'm just really curious to see like where exactly in the world my DNA comes from. So let's go ahead and open up the 23andMe DNA kit. So basically when you open it up, it comes with a little note and it basically says, let's get started. And it basically just has a little thing that says, we're here to help you. And it also includes a little checklist at the back saying to register your kit and also write down your barcode. So let's go ahead and register the kit. So I already did that on my laptop. So now it shows the little DNA kit right here and it's telling you to make sure you register your kit. Otherwise your sample will not be processed. So we are registered. So it basically says you can't have any food or drinks for 30 minutes, which is perfect because I haven't had dinner yet. And it says to spit in the fill line of the catcher. So let's go ahead and open up the kit. So this is basically the kit, what it looks like. So it comes with a little booklet. So this basically has instructions. So it basically comes with a little bag to put your sample in. And then we have the little test tube that you're supposed to spit in. And it includes a cap as well. So basically now it is time for me to spit inside the tube to fill my saliva up until the fill line. Okay, I'm not going to film this part. Okay, so I basically filled it up to the line. It was a funnel. Now it's time to unscrew this. Now put the cap on. Okay, now I have to shake it for five seconds. Okay, now it's shaken. So I basically place it in this plastic bag and then I fold it. So now it is time to put it inside the box and then it has like a little tape here that I can just tape it shut. So I'm really excited and curious to see what it actually says in my report when I get it. 